The biological half-life of a biological substance is the time it takes for half to be removed by biological processes when the rate of removal is roughly exponential. It is often denoted by the abbreviation T 1 2 Display style T underscore frac one two. Examples include metabolites, drugs, and signaling molecules. Typically, this refers to the body's cleansing through the function of kidneys and liver in addition to excretion functions to eliminate a substance from the body. In a medical context, half-life may also describe the time it takes for the blood plasma concentration of a substance to halve plasma half-life its steady state. The relationship between the biological and plasma half-lives of a substance can be complex depending on the substance in question, due to factors including accumulation in tissues protein binding, active metabolites, and receptor interactions. Examples <laughs> 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 topic water The biological half-life of water in a human is about 7 to 14 days. It can be altered by behavior. Drinking large amounts of alcohol will reduce the biological half-life of water in the body. This has been used to decontaminate humans who are internally contaminated with tritiated water, tritium. The basis of this decontamination method used at Harwell is to increase the rate at which the water in the body is replaced with new water. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Alcohol. The removal of ethanol, drinking alcohol through oxidation by alcohol dehydrogenase in the liver from the human body is limited. Hence the removal of a large concentration of alcohol from blood may follow zero-order kinetics. Also the rate-limiting steps for one substance may be in common with other substances. For instance, the blood alcohol concentration can be used to modify the biochemistry of methanol and ethylene glycol. In this way the oxidation of methanol to the toxic formaldehyde and formic acid in the human body can be prevented by giving an appropriate amount of ethanol to a person who has ingested methanol. Note that methanol is very toxic and causes blindness and death. A person who has ingested ethylene glycol can be treated in the same way. Half-life is also relative to the subjective metabolic rate of the individual in question. Topic. Common prescription medications Topic. Metals The biological half-life of cesium in humans is between 1 and 4 months. This can be shortened by feeding the person Prussian blue. The Prussian blue in the digestive system acts as a solid ion exchanger which absorbs the cesium while releasing potassium ions. For some substances, it is important to think of the human or animal body as being made up of several parts, each with their own affinity for the substance, and each part with a different biological half-life physiologically based pharmacokinetic modeling. Attempts to remove a substance from the whole organism may have the effect of increasing the burden present in one part of the organism. For instance, if a person who is contaminated with lead is given EDTA in a chelation therapy, then while the rate at which lead is lost from the body will be increased, the lead within the body tends to relocate into the brain where it can do the most harm. Polonium in the body has a biological half-life of about 30 to 50 days. Cesium in the body has a biological half-life of about 1 to 4 months. Mercury as methylmercury in the body has a half-life of about 65 days. Lead in the blood has a half-life of 28 to 36 days. Lead in bone has a biological half-life of about 10 years. 
Cadmium in bone has a biological half-life of about 30 years. Plutonium in bone has a biological half-life of about 100 years. Plutonium in the liver has a biological half-life of about 40 years. Topic peripheral half-life Some substances may have different half-lives in different parts of the body. For example, oxytocin has a half-life of typically about 3 minutes in the blood when given intravenously. Peripherally administered e intravenous peptides like oxytocin cross the blood-brain barrier very poorly, although very small amounts. <laughs> Rate equations First order elimination Half times apply to processes where the elimination rate is exponential. If C T displaystyle C T is the concentration of a substance at time T displaystyle T, its time dependence is given by C T equals C zero E minus K T Display style C T equals C zero E carrot K T where K is the reaction rate constant. Such a decay rate arises from a first-order reaction where the rate of elimination is proportional to the amount of the substance d c d t equals minus k c display style frac d c d t equals k c. The half-life for this process is T one two equals lane two K display style T underscore frac one two equals frac lane two K Half life is determined by clearance CL and volume of distribution VD and the relationship is described by the following equation T one two equals lane two V D C L Display style T underscore frac one two equals frac lane two C D O T V underscore D C L in clinical practice, this means that it takes four to five times the half-life for a drug's serum concentration to reach steady state after regular dosing is started, stopped, or the dose changed. So, for example, digoxin has a half-life of 24 to 36 H, this means that a change in the dose will take the best part of a week to take full effect. For this reason, drugs with a long half-life, e.g., amiodarone, elimination T one half of about 58 days, are usually started with a loading dose to achieve their desired clinical effect more quickly. Topic: <laughs> Biphasic half-life. Many drugs follow a biphasic elimination curve. First a steep slope then a shallow slope steep initial part of curve greater than initial distribution of the drug in the body shallow part of curve greater than ultimate excretion of drug which is dependent on the release of the drug from tissue compartments into the blood the longer half life is called the terminal half life and the half life of the largest component is called the dominant half life for a more detailed description see pharmacokinetics multi-compartmental underscore models. <laughs> Sample values and equations <laughs> 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 
See also Half-life, pertaining to the general mathematical concept in physics or pharmacology. Effective half-life